Claire Crawley breaks her silence on her painful breakup with Dale Moss. Hey guys, we have all the details on everything Claire had to say about their split, but before we get into it, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. As always, I'm your host Fiona Zaring and I'm joined by the wonderful Zachary Reality. Zachary, Claire had so much to say. I say we just dive right into it. <laughs> she stopped by Jana Kramer's podcast, Wind Down, and opened up about ending their relationship. She actually revealed that one of her biggest regrets was putting her trust in the bachelorette process. She said, quote, my biggest regret is trusting the process, trusting a man, a man's words, and who he showed me he was. She continued saying, I trusted somebody, I believed somebody, that they were who they said they were, or that they would hold up the promises they make when they get down on one knee. Now, she did backtrack a little, saying she's not sure that she regrets the relationship overall explaining I loved and have always had such a deep love for Dale and A, he doesn't go away overnight and B, I don't regret that I loved loving him. So Zachary, that is a lot to unpack just in and of itself. What is your reaction to this? What do you make of what she had to say there? I cannot even believe we're still talking about this relationship like a year <laughs> later, a year and a half later. I see so many similarities with them that I see with Chloe and Tristan. It's just like the one toxic relationship that just can't get out of the press. I'm so beyond over Claire playing the victim, blaming it all on Dale. I mean, she has chosen to stick by Dale for over a year. They have been broken up many times, got back together. And now she wants to kind of blame the process or blame Dale not showing up for her like she thought. I mean, they have been together. They've been trying to make this work. It was not meant to be. It's clear that it was probably never meant to be. I was hoping to see Claire kind of humble herself a little bit, maybe take some responsibility. But it sounds like she just wants to put this all on Dale and being like, this is Dale's fault. Dale didn't do this for me. Dale didn't do that for me. The relationship was just not going to work. And the sooner Claire can accept that, the sooner we as all of Bachelor Nation as a whole could move on. Yeah, it's really interesting because obviously their relationship has been a roller coaster from day one. And I feel like every time we talk about the drama, it's vague on both sides. There's always sort of loaded accusations in both of their statements. But we've never really been painted a clear picture of like what the issues are behind the scenes other than them just not being on the same page, not having aligned life goals, which when you get engaged after 12 days feels like an expected casualty. I'm curious if you think, Zachary, at this point, she mentioned not trusting the process or wishing she hadn't trusted the process. She didn't really go through with the whole process. Do you think any part of Claire wishes she would have finished her season? I mean, that's a really good point because she didn't trust the process. The process is you go into the Bachelorette, you date 30 men, you give men a chance. I mean, how many Bachelorettes? I feel like Caitlin and Tasha have given so much advice to Michelle, to Katie. Feel it out with some guys. Sometimes relationships change over time. So maybe if Claire waited it out, she could have possibly found a connection with someone else but that wouldn't have been authentic to her. Claire was so genuine in wanting to be with Dale from the start that she didn't give anyone else a fair chance. So if she did try and open up, it just wouldn't have been true to herself. So I think she had to kind of go the route that she did because that was what was staying true to Claire. And regardless of what everyone says about Claire, and we all know we say things about her, she does have you know a level of authenticity about her where she does stick true to her heart, even if it is a rash decision or she's thinking with her emotions. So maybe she has regrets. I don't think she should. I mean, she has done mm -hmm. The Bachelor five times before she was The Bachelorette. She was on three spinoff shows. She was on The Bachelor. I think she just shouldn't have went into the process as a whole. She should have just never been The Bachelorette. They should have made Taysha The Bachelorette from day one, but then we wouldn't have got that dramatic train wreck of a season, which was great for ratings and great for all of us. So... No, I don't think she regrets it, and I don't think anything would have changed. I don't think the love of her life was on The Bachelor. So I hope that she tries to find someone else in the real world, and I really, really wish that she does, and I hope the best for her. 
Yeah, Zachary, you made a really great point. Obviously, we have Tasha and Caitlin taking the lead now in Michelle's season as well. And their biggest piece of advice, their number one rule, is to not rule anybody out. So definitely, that is not what took place when Claire was the Bachelorette. But that's also a great point you made. We love that she is authentically herself. And had she continued on her season with the feelings she had for Dale, she wouldn't have been able to maybe authentically not rule any of those guys out. So again, her season was just kind of one big crazy experiment. And unfortunately, it didn't work out with Dale. It wasn't the fairy tale ending we had hoped for her. She did go on to explain that public interest and the involvement of publicists specifically has made this breakup process even more painful. She said it feels icky to have outside people involved and that she always tries to take the high road, explaining it's very impersonal to be putting out statements and articles. I think you both know the truth. I know the truth. He knows the truth. You know what happens behind closed doors. And when you know the truth, we know where your heart is. I don't need a publicist speaking my side of the story. This was really interesting. She said, I don't care for my side of the story, to be honest, to even be out there, even if I have receipts and proof, everything I need to show that could really put it out there. So this is interesting to me because we, of course, discussed the statement that Dale put out, which if you remember, said that Claire blocked his number, that, you know, she wouldn't get in touch with him, almost painting him as a victim, you know, that he was blindsided, just trying to be a great man and have cut him out. It feels like Claire is obviously alluding to more drama, different drama behind the scenes here, painting a totally different narrative. But again, she doesn't really care to share receipts <laughs> or to put it out there. What are your thoughts on this strategy? I like this. This actually makes me side with Claire more because she's being authentic. She does not care for everyone to know her business. I think she should have maybe known going into this relationship after being on the show for five, six years before that, you know, publicists, social media, everyone's outside perspective is just part of what happens when you go on the Bachelor franchise. But I actually think this is a dig at Dale because we know that Dale has spoken to the press. He's put out statements to different sources, to different sites. So Dale, I feel like, is the one that's trying to profit off of this relationship. And I think that's kind of been one of the biggest issues in their relationship since the beginning is that Dale immediately spoke to the paparazzi once they broke up for the first time. And now a year later, he wants to put out statements to kind of bank on that. This is who Dale has shown himself to be since day one when they left The Bachelor together. And I wish that it didn't take Claire this long to realize that he was not the one for her and that he was not genuine and in this relationship. But it's similar to the same problems they had when they first broke up over a year ago to the problems they have now. It's still the same thing. Dale is trying to capitalize off of this and he's shown that. And Claire is the one, crazy and all, that is staying true to herself and being like, I don't care what anyone says. I'm over this relationship. I'm done. I mean, she still loves him, which we're going to get into. But I think that Claire, I'm siding with Claire on this one. I think Dale is really just trying to capitalize off this. Yeah, and Claire even explained that, like, of course, when your dreams and your aspirations sort of are rooted in having a public presence, obviously publicists, et cetera, are going to get involved. But she's human, right? And so when you see some statement put out that you understand on some level why it's happening, but you know what really went on between two people, it is going to be hurtful. Again, in his statement, he really did make it seem like she was unwilling to sit down and have a conversation with him. But in this interview with Jana, she basically says that that lack of willingness on Dale's part to sit down is what's really hurting her the most. She said, it's painful when you feel like somebody who you love deeply doesn't even have enough respect to take you to sit down and have a vulnerable conversation and own your stuff on both sides. It's hurtful because it's like you think that little of me, but yet he supposedly loved me. Maybe that is the closure. I mean, this is really interesting because it's literally the polar opposite, but I'm kind of feeling inclined to think that he fibbed a little bit in that statement and somewhere between his and hers is what actually went down. What are your thoughts? Absolutely. I think Dale, all he cares about is his image. He never loved Claire. And it sucks that she 
let him lead her on for so long when so many of us from the outside kind of saw this happening. And I also feel like Dale is really just trying to take advantage of the fact that Claire has been painted as a crazy person because she's gone on the show five times. She's made a fool out of herself on the show. Whether it's just her staying true to herself or her being a little dramatic, I think Dale is trying to take advantage of that and paint this picture. And I'm not surprised that Dale has done that. I feel like he's shown his true colors. It sucks for Claire. And I just feel like she should know by now with her life experience and her age that Dale was way too immature for her to begin with. And I mean, some people will argue that Claire is immature as well. Either way, these two people are not meant to be together. They should have broken up a long time ago for the when they broke up the first time. They should have never got back together. I hope they never get back together, Fiona. Otherwise, we're going to be talking about them in two years. Same story, same stuff. Yeah, I mean, that actually brings me to this next quote because she did admit, as we mentioned, that she never wanted things to end. So even after all of that, all of the hurt, laying it all out, she did say this. She said, the one that gets me is, how do you say goodbye to somebody you never wanted to walk away from? So even throughout all of that hurt, she never wanted to walk away from Dale. She said, I would have never walked. You have to say goodbye to someone you don't want to be saying goodbye to. You have to walk away from somebody you don't want to walk away from. It's hard. It's painful. So that to me, and she actually teared up when she said all of that. So that to me is a contradiction to her own statements. There's so many mm -hmm. like sides to this story, so many emotions for clearly both of them to process. We have seen them break up and get back together, as you just said. So knowing that she didn't want it to end, but also hearing how hurt she is, do you think this door is somehow still open? What are your thoughts? I hope they are not open. I think that Claire probably was the one who who like ended the relationship. And I think she ended it because she just wasn't getting enough from him. I feel like we've seen this in other relationships where the guy is giving her just enough to kind of keep her to hang on a little bit longer. But after a while, when there is no change and there's no actual action and proof, it was time for her to walk away from the relationship. I wonder if she truly loved him or if this whole time she just loved the idea of him because it really just seems like he was one foot in and one foot out of the relationship the entire time. And it's crazy that after a year, a year and a half, he was still one foot in, one foot out. The two of them never even moved in together. They were living across the country in two different coasts for that long. They never had plans mm -hmm. to move forward with their wedding. They never had plans to move in together you know Claire was waiting in Sacramento she was really trying to help out her mom so I hope that she finds peace I hope that she finds someone else that mutually loves her Dale is just not it yeah I have to agree with you I wish I could have been rooting for these two because it would have been such a crazy whirlwind bachelor nation love story but they did feel I hate to say this but like a mismatch from the minute he got down on one knee the minute hate that we're here talking about how hurt they probably both are but definitely Claire has revealed that she is obviously we just want the best for her uh, hopefully we'll have some more positive updates coming in the future. In the meantime, you guys, we want to know your thoughts on everything Claire had to say here. Whose story are you more inclined to believe? Let us know down in the comments. And if you are not already subscribed to our channel, make sure you do. Make sure you ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. As always, I'm your host, Fiona Zaring, joined by the wonderful Zachary Reality. If you want to come say hi, be sure to check out our socials. They're on your screens right now. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.